Last week on Dancing with the Scars, Bradford and Whitney let their depression take over their cha cha. <laughs> I'm going to need a razor blade or a bottle of bleach because your dancing literally made me want to kill myself. Chad and Tina attempted to overcome heroin addiction with some hip hop dancing. Every part of your life is offensive, but not nearly as offensive as your dancing. Horses look bigger in real life. And although Daryl and Monica got off to a good start, they were unable to waltz away their haunted past. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, dog, man. I just, it, it wasn't working for me, man. I didn't feel it. I, I wasn't feeling it, dog. I don't know. Watching you dance actually made me want to rape someone. I can't feel my lips. I can't live like this. Welcome back to the show where emotional wounds can be bandaged with waltzes, where drug abuse can be hip hopped away, and where people who cut themselves can cut up a dance floor instead. Welcome to the season finale of Dancing with the Scars. I'm Ryan Seacrest, and tonight we are going to find out who are the winners of our competition. That's right, America, you cast your votes, and you decided who's getting a shot at recovery and who's just getting thrown back into their miserable lives. But before we do that, let's say hello to our judges. Hi, guys. So, what did you think of the competition so far? You know, I honestly think that the dancing I've been exposed to over the past few weeks has been so horrible that I should be checked into the recovery center. No, you're honestly such worthless excuses for human beings. I think that nobody has or will ever love any of you. I used to be anorexical, so I'm totally understanding the viscosity of what these people are going through. And I truly believe that if I was able to be on a show like Dancing with the Scars, I would have never thought I was fat. So it's really undermining, you know? But um, awesome job, you guys. <laughs> really love the bubbles. <laughs> Are they still there? Yeah, man, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't know, man. They all were a little bit too pitchy to me, bro. I don't know, dog. I just, I, I don't know, you know? I, I'm not feeling it, dog. I, I wasn't feeling it, huh? Huh? Word to my dogs? Huh? Yeah, man. I don't know, man. All right, America. The time is now. Let's find out who our winners will be. All right, Bradford and Whitney. Simon said that your dancing this week has made him wish you had actually cut down to the vein on your last suicide attempts. But Paula said she thought that you had pretty rhythm. America voted, and you are not going to the recovery center. I'm so sorry. Oh, we still would like to thank you for that. Moving on, yes. <laughs> All right, Chad and Tina. Randy has said that you were, quote, his number one dog pound dog. Dogs, give me a pound dog. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Paula burped after your last performance, and Simon left the building, stating that he needed to get high in order to watch one more second of your abysmal dancing. America voted, and you are not going to the recovery center. I'm so sorry. Bullshit. I write this way. That means that Monica and Daryl are our big winners. How you feeling there, Monica? Really? Really scared. Daryl? Horny. All right, fantastic. Well, we have one more big surprise for you. You're gonna get a chance to relax tonight at the Beverly Hills Hotel, where you'll be staying in the honeymoon suite. What? <laughs> all right. Hey, that's all the time we have for, for you on Dancing with the Scars. Seacrest, out.